Hi right, guys, the little Mazda MX-5. Uh, I have a bit of a love affair with these. I think they're absolutely brilliant. And if I had to buy just one little sports car, it would be this. If someone said, you know what, you've got, you know, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 pound budget, even a 10,000 pound budget, what would you buy? Uh, obviously you don't need 10,000 pounds, but so, so, so yeah, 10,000 pound budget, I put 5,000 pound into perhaps a motorbike of some description and I'd put the other £5,000 into one of these. I think they're absolutely brilliant. And this model as well. Uh, my one's just outside, a silver one. My partner Claire, she has a red one. Jack has a silver one. We think they're brilliant. They are fab. This is a real nice little car. Obviously a limited edition Arizona, which in actual fact, the, um, the Bangers and Crash restoration crew have just bought a... Um, uh, the same king, an Arizona to restore. So recent work under the same, we've got new timing belt and water pump. Well, I've learned something every day because I was pretty sure they were of timing chain. So there you are, maybe I've learned something new today. Anyhow, there you are, new timing belt and water pump, four new tires, heated seats, wind deflector, full service history, MOT until May next year, mileage at 36,000, car and body work in showroom condition, first class interior, that's what we've got. Now what you probably picked up on already I would suggest, so there's no point in trying to hide it, is the fact that there is a difference in shade between the bumper and the car itself. Before I do go on to that, I should say, look at that, that is lovely in there. I've taken a photograph of your numbers there. Chassis legs look good, that's your usual soft spot for the cars. They all look good in there. And then, going back to... Now I can assure you when you come down and see the car, to the naked eye, the difference is nothing like as much as these, uh, these um, camera phones make out. But nonetheless, there is a slight sh shade difference there so I can only assume that the bumper's possibly been painted at some point. I don't think it will be the bonnet or the wings because they're all the same shade all the way around. Certainly, I'm not really going too much by the camera because the camera, like with the reds, I've just mentioned the same thing with the red, the pigmentation on the reds looks very pink under camera, uh, under camera conditions, and the pigmentation of this looks very milky under camera conditions. Uh, to the naked eye, I can assure you, that's not the case. So, I know I'm sort of going bouncing from one thing to another here, but I've started on the color situation, so I might as well finish off on there. So you're gonna to have to come down and just see for yourself because you will agree with me, I'm sure, that like in, uh, in, the, in the color change there, there is only a minor difference. Nothing like as bad as uh, it tends to pick out. But irrelevant of that, the rest of the car more than makes up for that, obviously. So we've got a speedometer reading of around 36,000 miles. You know our take on mileometer readings, but common sense is gonna to have to kick in and it looks very much like that's going to be the case here. It's lovely. There's obviously some paperwork to substantiate that as well. I think, uh, did it say some service records in there? Uh, full service history. There you go. There you go. Can't ask for much more than that. I think the Arizona perhaps had a limited slip diff as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I've had the hood up. Uh, unusually, we don't normally get them in. It's got the nice hood cover, which I've left... Uh, detached at the moment because I thought viewing starts uh, next week so we're gonna have people down and they're going to want to look for themselves aren't they to make sure the hood is undamaged which it is that's why I haven't added that back on for now that can stay there just demonstrate that we've got it I'm not a hundred percent sure what the that bag is for uh, I can't think. 
what that bag would be for. No doubt you will tell me when you come down and have a look. In the back here, there's never a tremendous amount to see, but what you can see is extremely clean and nicely presented, as you would expect. Battery, obviously, for the Mazdas are always in the back. You've got the jack and the wheel brace and the space saver spare which doesn't look like it's ever been out no it's never been on i'm just feeling the side of the tire it's still got the bobbles on the tire so that sort of sums it up i think really i think they're absolutely brilliant and if you're just looking for an extremely usable fun sports car that you can use for nine we can use for 12 months of the year if you wish but nine months of the year put away when the salt we don't want to start using them when the salt around do you you will get so much fun out of one of these little cars you really will so much fun i know my partner does she goes out in ours leaves the range rover the new defender leaves all them at home and goes out in the little mazda thinks it's great so there you go guys hopefully the video and the photographs have given you a bit of an idea to what we've uh, what we've got here I do strongly encourage you to come down to have a look. I think you'll be impressed. It's a lovely little car. That can be sorted, can't you? If you can't live with a slight colour distortion there on the bumper, no problem. That can be sorted, can't it? It's the car and the mileage and the condition and the presentation that's important. So please come down, have a look and see what you think.